Hey there, everyone. Steve Gonzer, physical therapist with Run Smart Online. I want to talk to you guys about speed workouts and training because these speed workouts I'm going to teach you today actually work really, really well if you can use them the right way. Now, before I forget and get going here, if you want help with your training, you want to have us give you the strength workouts and run form training and training plans to help you accomplish your goals in your running, go to trainwithsteve.com. You can actually you can see what's all available. It's all included under the same program and you can uh, get started for as little as a dollar. So um, what I want to talk to you about today is one of my staple training plans and people who've done my training plans for half, 5K all up to half marathon, they've seen these workouts and they're difficult, but when they're done, they can actually make a huge improvement in your running so you can chase down a nasty PR. Um, nasty being good in that, <laughs> that reference. Um, so let's just preface this by saying when you do your speed work, I want to make sure that you guys have a strong base. So if you're looking at like if we look at a, a 16 week program for like a half or full marathon, you want to make sure roughly 50% of that in the front end is all about building the base. Megan Trainer would be proud. Uh, if anyone gets that reference, <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long day already. So you want about 50% of that training plan to lead up with a base. Let me make sure I'm even on the screen here. I'm not, so we're going to move that down. I just saw my phone and went for it and didn't even look. So 16 week training plan, you want the first 50% of your training plan to be including a lot of base training, making sure I'm on there, I'm almost on there. I'm just gonna fix this. This is what happens when I go live and I don't plan anything. All right, so you want your 50% of your training plan to have what's called base training. This is your conversation pace running, it's your easy running. Don't think about your base training as something like, oh, I already have a strong base, I don't need it. Base training to me and what it should be is about not only building your endurance, but prepping your body for increasing mileage. Too many runners have a, week, a weekly speed workout and you can't bring your mileage up and your speed work up at the same time. You wanna build your base, prep your body for impact, and then add your speed work on in between. The last eight weeks of training in a 16 week plan is where you're gonna to wanna to focus most of your speed workout. It's gonna take the strong foundation you've built and it's going to tack the speed on top of that. I'm sure I have my eraser here. So that's what we want to make sure we do. And by doing this, one of my favorite workouts to do is a long tempo workout. So a tempo, just if we define a tempo pace, and this is kind of the poor man's way of thinking about it, tempo pace is a pace you can hold for about one hour. And it's, for lack of a better term, it's like I hate myself pacing. It's like you're running and it, it hurts. You can only sustain it for about an hour and then you're like keeling over. That's, that's where tempo pace lives. It's a great way to build endurance and build power in your running. So we like to use, I like to use this tempo workout that I'm gonna show you, but uh, if you want help with the pacing and how to do this, we actually are training plans that we can use. Um, we'll give you the exact pacing you need for this. You can adjust it for your temperature, if it's a hot day and all that stuff. You can learn more about that with trainwithsteve.com. There's a bunch of stuff there. But this tempo pacing is really important. So what do we have so far? We want to build our strong foundation for about 50% of our, our training plan. Then we want to start adding speed on top of it for the last 50%. So once a week, so tempo, this tempo work I'm going to show you is one time a week. And they're short. So you're going to start with... Um, taking this tempo, and let me show you an example workout. We want two mile repeats. This works really well, mostly for half and full marathons. I should tell you guys that as well. So it's two mile repeats at tempo pace. So uh, I gotta look to see if I'm even on the screen. You guys are gonna <laughs> stop watching these if I don't get my act together here. All right, good, I'm still on the screen. So tempo for two mile repeats. So this is what I'd recommend. You'd warm up, warm up, for about five minutes. My warm up for these are easy pacing. So this is like slower than marathon pace. It's slower than base pace. You warm up for five minutes. Then you're gonna do a two mile uh, tempo. And that's a pace you can sustain for an hour. It's a threshold pace. People know it as threshold as well. Two mile tempo. And then you're gonna have uh, one quarter recovery. So let's say for easy math, I'm not saying you do this, but my simple brain needs the easy math. If you run a six minute mile tempo, that's 12 minutes. So you take a quarter of that and you have three minutes. So you'd have a three minute recovery. The recoveries can be walking. They can be um, very, very light jogging, but that would be your workout portion 
of that. And then you do repeats of this. So this could be anywhere between two to four repeats. And then you would cool down right after that. One of my favorite things about this board, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is my son who's five. Oh, you can't see it. I'll show you real quick. This is his handwriting down there. I got to make sure I don't erase it. Um, all right, so you do this warm up for five minutes, two mile tempo with a quarter of the time recovery, then two to four repeats and cool down. You do this once a week after you've established your base and you've built that up. And then in the meantime, what you'll do is you're going to start taking this down into what we call, which is more traditional speed workouts. The last four weeks of your training will go into track workouts, developing more power and more speed on top of these long intervals that you're running. So try this out. They're, they're not fun. They suck completely with their two mile repeats at what's called tempo or threshold. And um, you do a quarter recovery at that after you've built your base up. This is a great way to train for a half a full marathon and get your speed up if you're struggling with that. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you want more help with your training, you want the strength workouts, training plans, everything you need to, to make a race go and to do your best, check out trainwithsteve.com. There's also a link in this post you can check out and uh, we can build your plan for you, give you everything you need. All right, try this out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.